Hey everyone, so today I'm recording a quick uh, walkthrough of a bit of a um, journal that I did for a person for a journal swap. It's an Alice in Wonderland themed journal. Um, looks like this. It's got like a cardboard piece here that's a clock that I cut off on the corners to make it fit this area. This is from a calendar and then this is uh, die cut and embossed um, on my spell binders. That's a ribbon from um, Paper Source paper that I sponge with blue um, blue acrylic paint and then uh, just scrapbooking paper. It's got peach colored embroidery thread and uh, two charms on it. One's a bunny, um, the bunny from Alice in Wonderland, and then the, uh, a teal colored tassel. And then this is the back. Um, most of the journals I do um, are a combination of junk journals and like sketchbook style journals, but this one's more of a junk journal um, just because I'm um, exchanging it on a junk journal swap. So I made it a little bit more junky, if you will. Um, this is the inside. It's got um, green paper with roses. It's got a die cut and embossed um, name tag. And then this first page is from a calendar. So we'll just flip through it real quick. Just regular black paper, got some book pages. This is a little pocket I made with washi tape. It's got ephemera in it. Looks like this. And next page. This one has a lot of ephemera kind of scattered throughout it. And then that's a page. Um, I decided to use this because Queen of Hearts, I figured she was mean and, you know, killed people and stuff. So um, just kept it tore and I thought that looked cool. It's got a heart pocket here with more ephemera, a little tag that I made with like this pretty ribbon, a page from an anthropology catalog that has like teacups on it, and then uh, a little extra thing from a scrapbooking sheet thing that I had, so it's that. And then this here is like a little piece you can pull out right underneath it. It's got like a pretty, I'll try to show you. It's got this really pretty like texture on it. You can kind of see like the little shiny bits in there. So it's really pretty. This is a double-sided scrapbook paper. This is from a calendar I had. And then this is probably my favorite page. This started out as a mistake, but I ended up actually really liking it. It's got a flap here, and then it's just got some ephemera that I, that I got from a store here in Houston. And then this is a little envelope with, um, it's got more ephemera. This is actually from a Barnes & Noble bag. They have really <laughs> interesting little prints on their bags when you go shopping with them. So, And then this is like a little slide out thing behind some like I don't know how to describe it. It's like a paper that's made out of like threads, kind of. Yeah, that's the only way I could think to describe it. And this is a little insert I did with washi tape, and it's got this die cut circle print on it. And then this is like a little flap that you can open and you can write on here. This is from an anthropology catalog. This is from an estate sale, a little magazine that I got with really pretty illustrations. A little doily. And then this is a die, this is an embossed sheet of uh, cardstock that I did, and I um, added some like copper colored um, ink to the raised parts. through pink paper, more scrapbooking paper. 
And then this is the last page. This is a pocket and also like a thing where you can put bigger sheets here. You can pull this out. It's just a double-sided scrapbook paper. And then that's it. I think it turned out really nice. I hope she likes it. And thanks for watching. If you are interested in um, journals similar to this, I have some on my um, Etsy page, Mermaid Cove Art. So um, if you want to go check those out, I have a few up there. Um, I'm thinking about doing another Alice in Wonderland themed one because I had a lot of fun making this one. Uh, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching. Bye.